it's Gwen from Everything Gwenny, and today we have an unboxing for you. And today's uh, unboxing comes to you from my son. My loving son who, for my birthday, went out and found where he could get me some diamond paintings. He had no idea about how AliExpress works or anything like that, but he had seen these in the showcase store or the As You See on TV store. Um, I believe it's called Showcase though. And so he wanted to get me uh, some kits. And so he picked these up and they're super cute. I mean, they're not what I would probably get for myself, but it's the thought that counts when it comes from my son. The fact that he, he even left the house and went and picked up something for me with his autism is beyond belief. So let's go ahead. I've never got a kit from uh, Showcase before. And so let's take a look and see what's inside. And I don't think I've ever seen anybody else unbox one of these before. So I've got a cute owl and I also caught a cute butterfly and they're both partials. So let's just say, look, take a look. It says diamond picture, adhesive masonry canvas, uh, includes one times decal 30 by 30, 5D rhinestone crystals and a tool kit. And this is called orange butterfly. And so let's see if we can get this open. All right, so it's just, it's a really heavy duty clear case. Uh, let's see, they have operation steps on the back, open the package and take out the kit, take out the drilling packages, check the number which on the bag one by one correspond to the marks on the canvas, place a suitable amount if glue on the, in the pen head, I think they may, of glue, Take out the drilling bag with the corresponding color number. Be careful and not to mix the content in the bags. Put the diamond on the plastic plate. Peel off the protective film from one part of the canvas. Then use the pen head to press the top of diamond and stick to the canvas. Use a flat item like a book to press and let the diamond which on the canvas stick on firmly. Tips, in order to ensure the adhesive strength of canvas, please peel off the protective film one by one to keep the canvas clean. This is not a toy. Keep out of the reach of children, only for decoration. Wow, the spelling and grammar on that <laughs> is a little bit painful for me. All right, so here is the orange butterfly. It is very, very heavy canvas, very thick. Not cheap and flimsy like some of the other ones. The plastic on top is very thick as well. Goes down nicely. Let's take a look at the kit. Oh, so I've never had one of these round uh, trays before. So now I have one of these round trays, which is nice. And it has a square of wax and it has the blue pen. And it looks like this is a 14 color. And there are no DMC codes, they are just numbers. Let's take a look at the packs. As usual, Gwenny cannot figure out how to open them. I think I'll have to do one of these uh, as soon as possible so that my son sees me do it. I don't know if I should do the butterfly or the owl first. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know which one I should do first. And so the packs are a little different. They are rounds. They are obviously only giving you what they think that you need. There's no inventory though, like to tell you how many of you need. So let's just see if we can find all the colors. So there's one, just a couple of these pale peachy skin colors. So there's one, there's two, a very light orange, there's three which is a lot of red, it seems to be the bulk of it, four which is some more oranges, let's see. 
five, which is some really nice, pretty light blues. Uh, I believe this is, yeah, zero six. And some more nice, pretty blues. Seven more blues. Uh, let's see. There's eight more blue. Nine more blues. Ten more like a purpley blue or indigo blue. Eleven is some, just a couple whites really. There's not a lot in there at all. Twelve is some gray. Thirteen is some more gray. And fourteen is the black. Which there is quite a bit of because it's all the outsides of the butterfly. So yeah, all the colors are here. We do look like we have one random bead. It's not a whole bead though, it's like a piece of a bead has come out. So maybe it's just from something else. And so I'm just going to put these back inside here. Not in any order. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> and then we will put this back in the box to do sometime in the near future. So yeah, that was pretty cute. I really like that. I'm going to roll it back up. And put it back in the case. And I don't think I need to keep the... Well, maybe I can stick that in there. There we go. Nice and safe and sound. Alright, let's take a look at the owl one now. So we're not going to read the box because I'm assuming it's all the same. So again, it's the same kit with the white. So I can use these for trash now. That's pretty cool. The blue pen. This one is only 11 colors. It looks, let me look in the viewfinder. Okay, it looks better in the viewfinder. Down here, it just looks like a lot of black. But it does seem to be mixed, like J, D, C. So there is some shading to it. So let's take a look. So this is 11 colors. Another piece of um, not quite a bead, but some trash, I guess, stuck on the outside. Okay, so there's six, there's eight, there's ten, there's one, three. I think this is seven. Okay, so six and seven and eight and four. That's probably two. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. All right, so all the beads are there. That's going to be a lot of dark colors on that one. The other one's going to have some really nice blues and... So yeah, that's pretty cute. So it just says 5D diamond painting, shiny diamond, non ironing diamond nine non ironing diamond it's just called owl do not insulate I'm assuming that means don't iron and you can see just the owl obviously is it does feel a little bit like it's puckered a little bit like they put the glue so tight
hopefully once the diamonds are on it, it'll lie flatter. I'm a little worried about it. It is pretty sticky. The symbols are pretty clear for the most part, except for this H is very blurry, but yeah, you can see my fingerprint in the glue now. Great. Um, this H, which is a dark background with a dark letter, is really hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can see it up there near the top of his head. But yeah, pretty hard to see. But, I mean, that's the only one that's hard to see. The E is also a dark letter on a slightly dark background. But it's a lighter background than the other one, so I should be able to tell which one's which when I'm putting them down. So yeah, that's that, guys. I'm going to put these back inside and roll it back up. And put it back in the box. For safekeeping, probably... I might wait until after Christmas because I do have some Christmas ones to do, but I do want to get one done and put it up so my son sees it. Because I think he would like that. So what do you think? The butterfly or the owl? I'm kind of thinking the butterfly, but I'd be curious to see what you guys think. If I can get this in here. Hey, get in there. It doesn't want to go back in now. It's like, no, we're good. Seriously. I know something so weird like that shouldn't bother me, but it does. There we go. All right. Oh, and then somehow, of course, I got this out. <laughs> there we go. They're both back in their boxes now. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Again, they were diamond paintings from a place called Showcase. I'll put the link to the store because I know they do have an online store as well um, in case you're interested. But I think it's I think it's a Canadian thing. I'm actually not sure. Uh, you'll be able to tell if you go to visit the site. But again, my son went and got them actually from a store in person. So that was really sweet. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please feel free to subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram and Facebook under Everything Gwenny. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.